Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about CMOS inverter. So, what is CMOS? CMOS that means it is complementary metal oxide semiconductor. As we discussed in previous lecture about MOSFET and FET, it is another type of MOSFET. So, in CMOS, we are going to use various MOSFET circuit diagram, and then it becomes CMOS inverter. So now let us discuss about CMOS. So its full form is complementary metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So CMOS technology uses both N channel and P channel device in the same circuit. So CMOS circuits are more difficult to fabricate than the circuits using only N MOS and P MOS devices. Here we can see this is the construction of CMOS inverter. Here in this circuit diagram, we are going to use N channel E MOSFET as well as P channel E MOSFET. So, if you clear about N channel E MOSFET and P channel E MOSFET, then and then you can easily understand this complementary MOSFET. So, let us discuss about its inverter cross section so here we can see this is the cmos inverter so in this circuit diagram we can see here these are the n channel and p channel mosfet is going to be used here a is indicated where we are going to connect gate terminal where vdd and ground indicate we are going to connect drain terminal and between that we are going to connect at Y we are going to connect source terminal so like this there is a circuit connection of CMOS inverter so in between there we can see one layer which is known as silicon dioxide so here we can see this is the PMOS transistor here we can see PMOS transistor and there we can see that is NMOS transistor. So PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor that means it is basically N channel EMOSFET and P channel EMOSFET. So already we have discussed N channel enhancement MOSFET and P channel enhancement MOSFET. So we are going to use three various cases in this CMOS inverter. So now this is the equivalent circuit of CMOS inverter. Here we can see first this is the inverter circuit using IGFETs. So here in center we are going to connect output. Above we can see it is VDD that means drain voltage which is plus 5 volt. There input and here source terminal is grounded. So this is the connection which is known as CMOS inverter. Separate p well region is formed within the n-type substrate. The p wall region acts as a substrate for the n-channel MOSFET. So here we can see this is the connection where we are going to put input terminal and where we are going to connect output terminal and which terminal is going to be grounded and common we can see. So this is the source of N channel MOSFET is connected to ground whereas the source of P channel MOSFET is connected to the plus VDD. The drain of both MOSFETs are connected together and the output is taken from the common drain point as we discussed earlier in this PPT. Here we can see output which is connected at the drain of N MOSFET and E MOSFET. So the gates are connected together and input is applied at the common point. Input and output is applied at a common terminal. So this is the basic and fundamental information about CMOS inverter construction. So here this is the biasing of CMOS inverter both are enhancement MOSFETs. So here we can write PMOS and NMOS, Q1 and Q2. 
Q2's positive is connected with the plus VDD and minus is connected with the output where we can say VO. Q1's positive is connected with the VO which is output and its minus is connected to the ground. So here we can see Q1's positive and Q2's negative terminal is connected at the output. So it is common. Now its gate terminal is connected and commonly taken from for the input side. So this is the biasing of CMOS inverter. So we are going to use here different cases like first we applied zero and we will conclude what happened and finally we applied one and then we measure its result. Now here this is the CMOS inverter operation VI volts it is at zero voltage that means it is basically logic zero. If we applied VDD or we can say plus 5 volt in analog term that means in digital it means logic 1. Then Q1 and Q2 is on or off we have to conclude here through this operation. So first in case number 1 if we apply VI is equal to 0. So here we can see in this circuit diagram if we applied 0 in input then what happened. So remember this thing in N channel E MOSFET if your input is 0 so that means there is no channel present between two region that means no current can flow drain source to drain that means your Q1 becomes 0 becomes off so here we can see if VI is equal to 0 then VGS of Q1 will be 0 so it will be off but here VGS of Q2 it is due to the VDD because VDD is basically plus 5 volt in the term of analog. So there is a voltage present that means you will get output due to VDD that means your Q2 will be VDD so Q2 will be on therefore VO will be plus VDD that means in digital digital term we can say it is logic 1 that means if you enter 0 input and you will get 1 at the output side so this is the case number 1 now we can see here case number 2 if we applied VDD or we can say logic 1 then what happened so here we can see if we applied VI is equal to plus VDD or we can say plus 5 volt then Q1 that means N MOS that means N channel E MOSFET is equal to VDD or we can say it is on. But Q2 which is P channel E MOSFET or we can say P MOS is equal to 0 volt that means off. So your output is connected to the ground that means you will not get any output voltage. So that means inversion will take place. If you apply logic 1 and you will get 0 at the output side. So here we can see in this operation. So if VI is equal to 0 at this time your Q1 will be off and Q2 will be on and you will get logic 1. And in case number 2 if you apply logic 1 Q1 will be on. Q2 will be off and your output will be 0 volt that means logic 0. So here we can see this is the inversion. So we can conclude it from this waveform and its equivalent circuits. Here this is the here we can see this is the input and here this is the output and according to this waveform here we can see this is the equivalent circuit of this uh, these two cases. So in first number we will discuss about Q1 on Q2 off then what happened. So here we can see if your Q1 is on and Q2 is off here here we can see Q2 is off 
and Q1 is on. Q2 that means P MOS that means P channel E MOSFET and here N MOS that means it is N channel E MOSFET. It is closed whereas E MOS is open and so you will get Q is equal to 0 because here it is open circuited. So your output here is 0. Here we can see this is the here we can see this is the 0. Similarly, if your Q1 is off, Q2 is on. So here there we can see your Q2 is on. That means it is closed circuited. It is equivalent to the closed circuited. And Q1 is off, that means it is equivalent to the open circuited. So current flows VDD to output side. We can say that's why your output voltage is equal to the VDD. Here we can see if your input VI is equal to 0, then your output is equal to VDD. So as we see here in waveform and equivalent circuit that your CMOS inverter is behaves inversion like if you enter 0 then you will get 1 if you enter 1 and you will get 0 so this is the inversion so that's it for today's lecture if you have any query related to your CMOS inverter you can mail me on this email address till then keep reading keep learning see you soon in next coming lecture thank you